Blessings in the name of Jesus, Messiah of the world. My name is Miriam Rachel, and we are reading in the book of Isaiah. This is the second half of an in-depth study comparing the Targum of Isaiah with the regular book that we have. The Targum being 2,000 years older, and we are just getting into the meat of this study Okay, chapter 30. Woe to the rebellious children, says Yahuwah. Blessings, shalom. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I just want you to know God loves you. Jesus loves you. And this is a beautiful, blessed day to be seeking our Creator. Amen. Chapter 30. Woe to the rebellious children, says Yahuwah, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk down to the Mitzrayim, to Egypt, and have not asked at my prophet's mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your confusion and shame and disgraced, um, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt is in your confusion. For his princes... That is the feathered flying serpents, the basilisk, were at Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Chanek. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help, nor profit. These fallen angels will do nothing to help you. All they want is to drag you to hell. That's it. That's all they want is your soul. But a shame, they are a shame and also a reproach. They are disgraced. The burden of the beasts of the Negev into the land of trouble and anguish. From whence come the young and old lion, the viper, the firing, flying serpent. We know that to be the fallen angels. They will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses and their treasures upon the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still and so they shall be slain. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a sephir that is a scroll, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, a lying children, children that will not hear the Torah of Yahuwah, which say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Speak unto us prosperity gospels. Speak unto us that God wants all of our dreams to come true. Speak unto us that God wants us to be rich. Speak unto us to go after our dreams instead of our creator. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Because the word of the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. They don't want to hear about Jesus. Let us hear about Jesus. Let all hear about Jesus. Amen. Wherefore, thus says the Holy One of Joshua, because ye despise this word, his word, that we know became flesh, and trust in oppression and lies and perverseness, and stray thereon, this iniquity, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fail. Um, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. And that's referring to Jerusalem's city completely laid waste and being a ruinous heap. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare, so that there shall be not found in the bursting of it a shard to take fire from the hearth or to Take water withal out of the pit. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah, the Holy One of Yasharel, in returning and rest shall ye be saved. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. And ye would not. They wanted nothing to do with Jesus. But ye said, No, we will flee upon horses. Therefore shall ye flee. And we will ride upon the swift. Therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one, and the, at the rebuke of five shall ye flee, till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain, 
as an ensign on the hill. And therefore will Yahuwah wait and show pity, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you, for Yahuwah is an aloha of judgment. Blessed are they that wait for him, his salvation. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. You shall weep no more. He will be very gracious unto you. At the voice of your cry, when he shall hear it, he will answer you. And though Adonai give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not his Shekinah be removed into a corner any more. But your eyes shall see his Shekinah, and your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. And when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left, that is the Holy Spirit. We don't have to sin anymore, brothers and sisters. We can listen to the Holy Spirit and always make right choices. Ye shall defile also the covering of your graven images of silver, that is idol worship it. The ornament of your molten images of gold, you shall cast them away as a menstruous cloth. You shall say unto it, Get you hence. Then he shall give you the rain of your seed, that you shall sow the ground with all, and the bread of increase of the earth, and it shall be fat and plenteous in that day. Shall your cattle feed in large pastures. The oxen likewise, and the young asses that ear the ground shall eat clean provender. Now how could that be if there were a single evil person left? So this is after... This is the new Jerusalem here. He's prophesying. Blessed are they that wait for his salvation. Here, that was supposed to be here. Yahuwah is an Elohai. Blessed are they are wait for his salvation of judgment. Blessed are they all that wait for him. So they took out an entire line. Blessed are they that wait for his salvation. They literally tried to cut Jesus out of the Bible after they rejected him. So, they shall eat clean provender, which has been winnowed with the shovel and with the rain. <clears throat> and there shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high wall rivers and streams of waters in the day of the ruin of great slaughter. And when the princes and the towers shall fall, that is a reference to the fallen angels right there. When the princes and their towers fall, and they took that out because they don't want you to know about the giants. That's not part of their agenda. They, that's a surprise. They're trying to keep that in their pocket. That's why the Smithsonian destroys all the giants' bones. They're trying to keep it from us. Mm-hmm. In the day of the great ruin and slaughter, when the princes and towers shall fall, moreover the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. There is no sun simulator. There is no moon simulator. If people would just open their Bibles, I'm not even in the Dead Sea Scrolls right now. I'm in Isaiah. It's all right here. No sun simulator. No moon simulator. Nothing up there. The only thing that humans can do is spray the skies to try to block it out because they don't want us to know what's coming. They cannot hide the luminaries that are in the sky right now. This is just wild. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days in the day that Yahuwah binds up the breach, the captivity of his people, and heals the stroke of their wound. Behold, the name of Yahuwah comes from far, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His word, lips are full of indignation, and his, his word is as a devouring fire. 
His word is as a devouring fire. He will not need a sword. He will not need an army. His word will burn up the world. His breath as an overflowing stream shall reach to the midst of the neck to sift the nations with the sieves of vanity. You have a problem with vanity? You're going to be in that sieve. There shall be a bridle in the jaws of the people causing them to err. You shall have a song as in the night when a holy solemnity is kept and gladness of heart as when one goes with a pipe to come into the mountain of thanksgiving of Yahuwah to the mighty one of Yasharel and Yahuwah shall cause his glorious voice to be heard and shall show the lightning, uh, the lighting uh, down of his arm. That is angel singing and the indignation of his anger, and with the flame of devouring fire, and with destroying and tempest and hailstones. For through the voice of the word, Yahuwah shall the Assyrian, wait a minute, back up, verse 31, because that's a direct reference right here to the Antichrist. So we know he is an Assyrian Jew, okay? For through the voice of the word, Yahuwah shall, the Assyrian be, be beaten down, which smote the word with a rod. That is the Antichrist. And in every place where the grounded staff shall pass, which the word of Yahuwah shall lay upon him, it shall be with tablets and harps, and in battles of shaking will he fight with it. For hell is ordained of old. Yes, for the king it is prepared that king, who's the king? Satan, right? The king of this particular world. He has made it deep and large. The pile thereof is fire. You notice that the king is a small K. It's not the king. It's just a king. The Satan is a king of the lower realm. He has made much wood. And the eternal king, the breath of Yahuwah, like a stream of brimstone, will kindle it. Kindles it. Chapter 31. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not, they look not unto the holy word of the holy one of Yasharel. Neither seek Yahuwah. They don't even look for God. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his word but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work lies and iniquity. See also Joel chapter 2. Now the Egyptians are men and they are not gods and their horses are flesh and not spirit. And when Yahuwah shall stretch out his hand, both he that helps shall fall and he that is helped shall fall and they all shall fall together. And that's Armageddon. For thus has Yahuwah spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voices, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall Yahuwah Saval come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. As birds flying, so will Yahuwah Saval defend Jerusalem. Defending also will he de deliver it. And passing over will he preserve it. Amen. Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Yasharel have deeply revolted. For in that day every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold. Which your own hands have made unto you for a, a God, for a little g God, for a sin. Then shall the Assyrian, he will protect. And then it's talking about the Antimessary right here. So, if you turn ye unto him from whom the children of Yahshua have been deeply revolted, and because he will protect you if you do. For in that man, every man, every day, excuse me, Father, please bind my tongue. For in that day, every man shall cast away his idols of silver. No more idol worshiping. Don't worship idols of Mary and Jesus or, or any saints. You get down on your knees in your prayer closet and you close your eyes and you pray to your invisible creator. 
develop a personal relationship with him. Otherwise, we start to think we need those idols in order to pray, which is absolute nonsense. Those idols were made by men's hands. Then shall the Assyrian fall. That is the Antichrist. It's right here in Isaiah, the Assyrian. Then shall the Assyrian fall with the sword, not of a mighty man, and the sword, not of a mean man, shall deliver him. And we know what? That the sword is the word of God. But he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be for destruction. His princes shall flee to his stronghold for free, fear, and his broken princes shall be f fleeing, afraid of the ensign, that is Jesus, I mean, says the word of Yahuwah, whose fire is in Zion, and his furnace in Jerusalem, those who transgress his word. Chapter 32. Behold, a king shall reign in truth and righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment, and a just, shall ret a just man shall return, shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of waters shall return in a dry place, as the r shadow of a great rock in a weary land, and the righteous eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the righteous ears of them that hear shall hearken, the heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly, the wicked vile person shall be no more called just, amen, nor the evil liars shed to be honest. Or mighty, for the vile, wicked person will speak vi villainy, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against El Yahua to make empty the soul of the hungry. He will cause the drink of the thirsty uh, to f to fail. The in the instruments purpose to m make. Hold on. Too messy for me. Okay, the purpose is to make deceit. He will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. The instruments and the purpose of to make deceit are evil. In other words, they want to kill us all. The purpose to make a decease evil. They are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaks right. But the liberal, the evil, that is the liar, s s devises uh, liberal things, lying things, and by lying things shall he stand. I never knew that liberal meant lying before. <sighs> okay? Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. It's talking to women who are like gold diggers. They like to just sit around and pretend they're prima donnas. And, and they never seek after God. They never seek after His word. And they certainly never do anything to further His kingdom. Maybe they're watching uh, soap operas all day or whatever. Who knows? Maybe they're just gossiping about their neighbors, but they're not seeking after God's word. Women of leisure. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars. Yes, Upon all the houses of joy in the fortified joyous city, because the palaces shall be laid waste, forsaken, and the house of worship shall be laid waste and forsaken, the multitude of the city shall be left, the forts and towers shall be desolate forever. A joy of wild asses, a pasture of flocks. But the righteous counsel truth, and in truth shall, they shall be established the righteous counsel truth, and in truth they shall be established. Until the Spirit of God be poured out upon us from on high, and the wilderness be a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Amen. 
Then the judgment shall dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness remain in the fruit fulfilled. And the work of the righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness, safe, and assurance forever. The Shekinah of refreshing safety. And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, and in sure dwellings, and in quiet resting places, when it shall um, hail coming down on the forest, armies, and the city shall be laid low in a desolate place. Blessed are ye just to do good works that sow beside all waters, that send forth thither the feet of the ox and the ass. Chapter 33. And um, there's a reference to Joshua chapter 10 as well. Woe to you that spoil, and you were not spoiled, and dealt treacherously, and they dealt treacherously with you. When you shall cease to spoil, you shall be spoiled. And when you shall make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with you. Oh, Yahuwah, be gracious unto us. We have waited for you and your word. Be their arm every morning. Our Yeshua, our salvation. Amen. Also in the time of trouble, at the noise of the tumult, the people fled. As the lifting up of yourself, the nations were scattered. And your spoil shall be gathered like the gathering of the caterpillar. As the running to and fro of locusts shall he run upon them. And Yahuwah is exalted, for he dwells on high. He has filled Zion with judgment and righteousness, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times, and strength of salvation, Yeshua. The fear of Yahuwah is his treasure. Behold, their valiant ones shall cry without. The messengers, ambassadors of peace, shall weep bitterly. The highways lie in waste as evil comes. The wayfaring man ceases forgotten. He has broken the covenant. He has despised the cities. He regards no man. The earth mourns and languishes. Lebanon is ashamed and hewn down. Sharon is like a desert wilderness and Bashan desolate. Carmel shake off their fruit. Now will I rise, says Yahuwah. Now will I be exalted. Now will I lift up myself. Ye shall conceive chafe. Ye shall bring forth stubble. Your breath as fire. My word as a whirlwind shall devour you. And the people shall be as the burnings of lime. As thorns cut up shall they be burned in the fire. Hear ye righteous that are far off. What I have done, and that ye are near. Acknowledge my might. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire. And we know that we will be safe in his Shekinah and his tabernacle. Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He that walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he that despises the gain of oppressions, that seeks, shakes his hands from holding of bribes, that stops his ears from hearing of blood, that shuts his eyes from seeing of evil, he shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given to him. His water shall be sure. Amen. Your eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold Yeshua in the land that is very far off, and hell is coming also. Your heart shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is he that counted the mighty towers? And we know the towers to be giants. You shall not see a fierce people, a people of deeper speech and intelligible speech than you can perceive of a foreign tongue that you cannot understand they look upon zion the city of your solemnities your eyes shall see jerusalem a prosperity a quiet habitation a tabernacle that shall not be taken down not one of the stakes thereof shall ever be removed forever 
neither shall any of the cords thereof be broken. And we know that to be a reference to the new Jerusalem. But there are the glorious Yahuwah will be unto us a place of broad rivers and streams, wherein shall go no galley with oars, neither shall gallant ships pass thereby. For Yahuwah is our judge, Yahuwah is our Torah giver, to, Yahuwah is our king, he will save us. Amen. Your tacklings are loosened. They could not well strengthen their mast. They could not spread the sail. Then is Israel the prey of a great spoil divided. The lame take the prey. The inhabitants shall not say. Um, uh, the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. They will be taken to Shekinah. And we still have two chapters to go. And I'm already at another half an hour. So I'm going to have to make a third video. But I just wanted to go over this right down here. Again, he that walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he that um, despises the gain of oppressions, that shakes his hands from holding of bribes, that stops his ears from hearing of blood, and shuts his eyes from seeing of evil, he shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His water shall be sure. That is a tabernacle, the Shekinah of the Lord. Even now, Jesus taught us, but they cut it out of the, tried to hide it in the Bible. We're supposed to be live. This is the seventh day. We're supposed to be living in a state of Sabbath. So instead of fearing and wondering where you're going to get money or where you're going to have food or where if you need new clothes or if you need a car, or you need to pay your medical bills, whatever it is, just lay it before the Father and let him provide everything you need. He wants us to depend completely and totally on him. Until we're depending completely and totally on the Most High, we really don't qualify for heaven. As long as we're looking for sustenance anywhere outside of ourselves besides Him, we really don't qualify for heaven. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Let's seek our Creator. Let's seek the Most High. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed and holy is Your name. May Your kingdom come and Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Father, for giving us today our daily bread. And please, Father, forgive us our, tra our, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Keep us from the outer darkness, Father. Thank you, Father, for saving our souls. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the power forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, Messiah of the world. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for creating us. Amen.